Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can transfer files from your Android phone to your PC very easily. So these are five ways that you can do it. They're all pretty simple and easy. Some work for different reasons, so I'm going to go through all of them and why they might be good or bad in a case. So the first one is pretty straightforward. You know, you can do it by connecting your phone to your computer and then transferring the files from there. So like over here, you can see the Galaxy S20 FE 5G is connected via USB-C cable, and then you can just access all the files on the phone. So obviously this is the, um, you know, the way a lot of people would do it, especially if you have a lot of files, right? Um, there's downsides to it where you know you have to do it's not really that quick because you have to connect it and then like transfer it from there so it's it's more work to do right um so that's the downside but the good side is you do have access to basically all the files uh on your phone and you can you know drill down deep into whatever you want to get into so that's the first solution second solution is transfer files by uploading it to a uh, some kind of cloud storage. So you guys can see over here, Google Cloud is opened up, right? Um, you can upload it to Google Cloud and or Google Drive, I should say. Um, and then from there, you can go on your desktop and then transfer it from, you know, download it from there. So that, that's another option. Um, the good thing is this, you don't need to have any kind of physical connection between the computer and the uh, phone. Um, the downside I would say is that it is, depending on the file, it could be um, really time consuming, especially if you're in an area that doesn't have uh, pretty good internet. Okay, so that's, that's um, I guess the biggest downside is your internet speed, or maybe your internet speed, and you also have to have enough storage in your Google Drive. All right. Now the third option is pretty straightforward in, in email. Email is pretty good in my opinion, but you know, obviously there's limitations also. So, you know, there's only a set, well, there's a limited um, attachment size that you can put. So you can't just put like a, like a 10 gig video to it. Um, but then also this, well, depending on which email you're using, but if you are using Gmail after a certain size, it technically is using your Google Drive right um so it's not just a regular email send at that point it's more of like a cloud storage but you know email is really quick simple um you know especially if you're using it for small text files small images uh and, and things like that you can quickly send them and receive them on the other end really simply and email pretty much everyone understands how to work it so you won't need to tell them to download any kind of fancy applications or anything like that all right uh, method four. So the fourth method is Bluetooth. So a lot of people don't know this, but you can transfer files via Bluetooth from your phone to your Windows PC. Okay. So it's, it may not be ideal depending on the file size, right? Um, so this, you can see option over here, you can add the device once you connect it, and then uh, you wanna press this right hand side, send or receive files via Bluetooth. And you, for here you can send and receive. So this might not be ideal if your file is large, right? Or even relatively large, because Bluetooth is known to go pretty slow, right? Um, especially when transferring, okay? So you might need to, so if you have a relatively large video file or a lot of pictures, uh, it could take up to hours. But, you know, never again, but, but then again, this is still an option. So never rule it out. So last but not least is you want to use some kind of uh, um, file transfer apps, right? So they on Android, they have Droid Transfer, and I believe they also have Zender, right? Um, you can use file transfer apps like those, and uh, basically it does save it to like cloud storage, right? Um, and then it's similar to that, but then there's also like FTPs, uh, which allow for that as well. Kind of makes like a connection, like a server computer connection um, to your phone and it transfers via that. And, and that speed is not too bad either. Um, but then again, it's it really depends on your internet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, these are the top five ways, in my opinion, to transfer files from Android to a PC. 
right um they're all free so you know definitely check them out if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up you know don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell it really helps the channel other than that peace out